guys, it's Dwight. I'm back in my studio this afternoon and I'm working on a repurposed 24 by 36 canvas with all these DecoArt uh, metallics paint, except for I also have Extreme Sheen right there. So I'm going to be, I think I'm going to do a colander pour today. I just like the way it kind of makes the colors disperse out. So what I have down here is Peacock Pearl, Ice Blue, Splendid Gold, um, and this is Copper Penny, I believe. And this is Artist Loft Soft Body White, and then this is Artist Loft Soft Body Black. Now, um, all of these paints here are mixed, uh, one part paint, two, three parts flow trawl, a drizzle of Liquitex pouring medium, and water to thin it down. Now I make sure that all of these are about the same consistency, and you know I've been doing this for a while, so I do it by eye. So I just kind of eyeball it and make sure they look pretty much um, consistently the same thickness in terms of um, how they drizzle off the drizzle stick. Now, the black paint over here, um, since we've been having trouble with some of the batches, the newer batches of the Artist Loft Soft Body Black, um, I've been using less of the black paint and more of Floetrol. So you can be very creative with that, but if you want a guideline, you can say one part paint, three to four parts Floetrol, drizzle of Liquitex pouring medium and water um, to get that to the right consistency as well. So the canvas is basically already prepped. All I need to do is double check my consistencies one more time, and we'll get started here in just a moment. You know sometimes when you do a painting and you walk away and you're afraid of what's going to happen and you come back? Um, I was, <laughs> but I'm really happy. This is so beautiful. 
Um, what came to mind when I first started seeing the colors come up, I was thinking of my trips to New Mexico to Santa Fe. So I may call this um, Santa Fe Sunset. Um, got sort of the adobe colors, got the blue, the white for the clouds or the snow-capped mountains. Oh boy, this is really nice. I was really nervous about this painting because I did it on an old painting that didn't do so well. So when I do that sometimes and paint over, I get really anxious because the canvas could be slightly um, weighted from the previous pour. But I tightened it up the best I can and I uh, went ahead and did this pour. So let me move in and show you what we have going on here. Um, I, you know, the gold, the copper really took over. Um, I poured the colors purposefully together, the gold and the copper, so they complement each other. The um, copper was extreme sheen, and extreme sheen always creates these big, big pearls. Now, I didn't see much of the, um, what was it, uh, peacock pearl in there, um, but who knows, maybe it'll show up as it continues to dry. So the blue, one of my favorite colors, there again, streaking up there. Let me walk around over here. And this sort of this white, you know, it just sort of is interesting. It comes through. Now, I'm most likely not going to do anything in here. Um, we'll just see how it dries up. But I think it'll dry up pretty much as is. Um, if I add anything, it's only because um, some of the paint, like in the center, the white there, sometimes that will sink. And so all you have is just a plain white cell. So we'll see. We'll see. Um, I'm going to let this dry overnight. And um, the edges, I don't know if you can tell, but they're already starting to dry. You can see a little bit of the texture um, of the canvas. Okay, that's it. So I think it's going to dry like this. I'm going to have my fingers crossed. And um, I will check in tomorrow morning. And I will see if I can um, show you the actual dry results. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Hey guys, it's Dwight. I'm back here with the dried results. Um, this is one of my favorite paintings. Um, wow, I'm really excited about this one. It looks basically as it did when it was wet. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a little touch up, just a little bit on some of these cells just to make them pop. I'm not gonna do much more. I think that area is very interesting, as you can see. Um, everything looks really great. Remember, these are all metallics, so a nice coat of varnish is gonna make it all pop. So I'm looking forward to doing that in the next few weeks. So I'm not gonna show you a time lapse of me um, doing any touch-ups. I'll just show you the actual final, final results in just a moment. Okay, guys, here I am, it's all done. Not really much more to report. I just did go in a little bit and clean some of these up. I had a little bit more white in here and just dotted these around the edge so that it brings your eye um, you know, like to that focal point. So yeah, this is one of my favorite paintings, I have to be honest with you. I love the use of the, uh, it wasn't copper, it was like worn penny or something like that, and the gold and the blue. I think it really played out nicely in my colander. And um, yeah, I'll get another one out for you, probably end of next week. So guys, have a great start to the week and we'll see you soon.